Hello, and we're back for a another edition of the screenwriting vlogs. Um, so I have, oh, I think it's the fourth week. Uh, yeah, things are going well. I've crossed the 50 page mark, so pat on my back. Um, I had to, I had to take a day off. I believe it was Friday. I want to say it was Friday because I I was worried about my ending. So I have I had two different endings in mind for this movie. And in order to do one of them, I would need to start setting it up now, dropping little little clues, little hints. And so I needed I needed to figure it out before I got too much, you know, too far into my second act. I was like, "All right, I need to figure out which ending I'm going to do." One's a one's a little bit of a more uh simple ending, I guess you would say, and then one, you know, I kind of have to set up. It's a, a bit of a twist. I don't want to spoil anything in case you do read the script after I finished it. So, uh, I had to figure that out. I ended up going with the more complicated ending, so there were some things that I needed to to just nail down, kind of. I don't know. You know, I... <laughs> I, it's hard to talk about without giving too much away, but I figured it out. I I don't think I'll have any more hiccups in the in the near future. I feel like I have things pretty much, you know, they're outlined. I don't think I have any more questions about the script. I have my ending. I I just gotta write it. I gotta write, and uh, then rewrite. I'm sure. Hopefully, I'll get some rewriting done before the 90 day challenge is up so you won't be looking at a complete first draft hopefully you know it'll be a maybe a second draft or a first and a half draft i don't know uh yeah so i wanted to talk a little today about uh living in los angeles moving making the move to la i know there's a lot of aspiring screenwriters out there who who want to make the move and you know maybe they're afraid they can't afford it uh, worried about finding a job. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, L.A. is expensive. Um, the rent is... Rent is out of control. And that's the biggest difference. I moved to Los Angeles from Dallas two years ago. And, you know, entertainment prices for, like, movies or, um, bowling. I like bowling a lot. <laughs> This anything you do for fun, I don't know what you do for fun, and then also food prices they're pretty comparable. There's not too much of a difference there um but when it comes to rent gas prices, but when it comes to rent that's that's where you see the increase um right now we pay sixteen hundred about sixteen hundred and uh for a studio, a pretty small studio, the apartment. We live on the third floor, no elevator. Um, it's we have some questionable, questionable neighbors. Uh, I can talk about that at a later date if anybody cares to know. <laughs> uh, and you know our laundry room is in the basement, and I'm pretty sure it's haunted. Uh, maybe I can insert a clip of me walking down there. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it had, uh, no, no parking. We have to find parking on the street, fight for parking. Uh, but, um, but that's, you know, that's me complaining. It's actually not that bad of a place. The studio is actually pretty nice inside. You can look at some photos here, wherever they pop up. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a kitchen's nice, bug free. Can't complain. I mean, I did. I just, I just complained. But <laughs> it's really not that bad. But it is a small, 
spent, you know, for 1600 in, uh, back where I used to live, that would get me, you know, a pretty, a pretty nice one to two bedroom, uh, but, you know, not out here, and, and, but I don't need that big of a space, I'm fine, and so I feel more comfortable in small spaces, that's why I'm always in the car, uh, and, uh, yeah, we, uh, the neighborhood I live in is, it's on the border of East Hollywood and Los Feliz. Don't know if I said that right. I've, I've heard, like, three different pronunciations of that neighborhood. Don't want to say it again. I feel like I was close the first time. I don't want to stretch it. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's a nice neighborhood. We're within walking distance to lots of cool little cafe, restaurants, little little shops. Uh, Vista Theater is just right down the road. Uh, that place where um, Jeff Goldblum plays jazz, also within walking distance. Griffith Park, you can actually, it's within walking distance, you can see it, I think, there. So yeah, it's not... Let's get this set up again, hold on. And then, you know, I should really get like a stand. All right, we move positions. Anyways, so yeah, it's not a bad area. Uh, but this was, it took a while to find this place. You know, there's places around here that are similar in pricing. Um, maybe a tad bit cheaper, but uh, from what we saw, they all had roach problems. And that's a, that's a big thing you have to look out for. You might... You might come out here and you'll do some searching and you'll be like, oh, there's a studio for thirteen ninety five or something. It's perfect for me. And then you do a little uh, more research and you find out there. There's roaches or bed bugs or something. You have, to be very, you have to do your research. That's one thing I would like to really... Um, I, don't, I had a phrase in mind. I forget it. Everything gets left in here, okay? There's no, there's not a lot of editing going on here. You see everything. Um, but yeah, do your research, look at reviews, type in the, uh, if the apartment, sometimes apartments don't have a name around here. So what you want to do is get the address, type in the address on Google, search for it, and see what pops up. You might be surprised. So, yeah. Um... What else can I say about that? I would suggest if you're moving out here and you're young, you don't have a family, uh, get a roommate. Find roommates. I think there's a uh, Facebook group. Uh, maybe we can link to it in the description you can go to. There's also, I think, a subreddit, like LA List or something like that. You can look for roommates. Um, that's the smart that's a smart thing to do. You can find a nice room, a nice room, in a nice neighborhood for under a thousand if you're really looking. So, uh, that's what I would suggest. Find a roommate. That way you're not breaking the bank, you know. If you're coming out here all on your own, you want to live on your own, it's it's going to be hard. Unless you're a baller, you know. <laughs> you got you got them deep pockets. So, a car. Well, you need a car. I, I don't want to say yes, like 100%. You absolutely have to have a car. But it's going to make your life a lot easier. You know, Los Angeles doesn't have the best public transportation. Unless you live downtown. You might be able to get away with it. Um, but I would, I would recommend having a car. It's just you don't want to be paying for Uber and Lyft all the time. And you, know, you could always ride a bike, but... It looks dangerous. I've, you know, I've seen people riding bikes all the time. It looks very dangerous. I'd be afraid to ride a bike around here. But lots of people do it, you know. Uh, also, I'm scared of most things. So don't let don't let my fear hold you back. Live your life. Uh, yeah, um, grocery shopping. I recommend Trader Joe's. <laughs> We're getting this deep into it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Trader Joe's is where it's at affordable prices they have great baked goods delicious cookies they have some uh these vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and oh my gosh they're pretty good they give out free samples 
the uh, cashiers are nice most of the time, a little talkative, but uh, yeah, parking, people will complain about Trader Joe's parking, rightfully so, it's a nightmare, but try to go, if you can, early in the morning, between 8 and 10 a.m. on a weekday, that's, that's the, uh, when it's pretty calm, it's never calm at Trader Joe's, but it's okay. Um, and yeah, you, I mean, you'll be fine. It's not as hard as some people make it out to be. Um, you know, a lot of people will kind of exaggerate things a little bit to try to like, you know, make, do you really want to come? Do you really want to do this? I, I guess they're just, you know, they want you to be cautious with it, but it's, it's not that expensive. It's expensive, but it's doable. Especially, like I said, if you if you live with other people, I don't see any reason, you know, as long as you're employed, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to do it. As long as you don't have a family. If you have a family, you have kids, I don't I don't have experience with that. I can barely afford a dog. So, yeah, I don't. Good luck to you. Hopefully you have a good job. Um, yeah. So, you can do it. I believe in you. If I can do it, you can do it. I know I hate when other people say that, but really, I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a lot of, I feel, I'm 27, 28 actually. <laughs> 28 and I feel like I'm like 13. So, if I'm making it out here, I know you can. Um yeah, I think that's about it. There is a wildfire a wildfire currently going on. Not too far away. It's far enough, but there's smoke, and uh, I'm probably breathing it in. So I should probably end this now, and uh, I'll see you next week. Sure.